mindfulness, the power of now, the current, the present, the moment that we're actually living and dwelling. But it's so hard because how can we be happy in the now when we've got so much to worry about when things have happened and things are ahead? So if we're running and running and running and we get tired, but we couldn't focus on the now because then we'd have to let go, let go of all that worry. So let's have a think about this. I've always liked to quote, uh, it's a Buddhist quote and it goes like, we have to be grounded in our senses to be liberated in our soul. Basically, essentially, it's what it's saying is that we've got to be tuned in to what we can feel, what we can hear, what we can see, what we can taste, what we can smell. We've got to be tuned right in to actually savour and enjoy and embrace the moment in which we live. Things do happen to us in life and we tend to worry about those because we carry them. And we worry about things that are going to be ahead. But if we lived in the moment and sometimes gave ourselves a window, a gap, a moment, just to be able to take a minute, for example, of mindfulness, a minute to stop, a minute to breathe, a minute to reflect, and actually allow ourselves to be tuned into our senses. What can I see? What can I hear? What can I smell? What can I taste? What can I feel right now? If we just put our hands together, we can, we can enjoy the sense of touch and yet it's very rare that we actually notice. So it's really very much about noticing. And with mindfulness, mindfulness is a conscious state of being with a conscious acknowledgement of being in the now, in the moment, but actually without judgment. So we're not judging the moment. So even if we stop to meditate for a moment, for a minute of mindfulness, and we stop and we just breathe and we think, well, we'll live in the moment just to give ourselves a little bit of space, yeah? Even if random thoughts come into our minds, even if we start thinking about the weekly shopping list or about chores or errands that we're due to do, what we can still do is think, oh, hi, you're here, little blob, little blob thought, but I'm gonna park you, just, just park you there for a minute because I'm just busy having a minute, a few seconds for me. And what it actually does is, it's a bit like that kitchen cupboard you've got that you never clear out. But when you clear it out, you feel so much better because it's organised. So you're not able to tackle the whole house because it's too much. But if you tackle a small cupboard at a time or a, or a drawer at a time, you actually declutter your space. And what we do with mindfulness is we declutter space in our mind. So you can have a minute of mindfulness meditation, you can have it whilst you can have mindful eating, mindful sleeping, mindful brushing your teeth, mindful washing the dishes, mindful cooking, walking the dog you can be mindful and mindful driving but don't close your eyes because of safety. Yeah, But you can take that moment. For example, when we're driving, sometimes we can become stuck in traffic and become really, really frustrated. You really want to get to work you've set off on time, you really want to make it there, but you're going to be late. But you have two options. You can either relax and accept that you are actually going to work when you get to work, because your car cannot go faster than the car in front. It's actually impossible, yeah? Or you can, you can panic and get to work really agitated, really irritated, sweating, you know, heartbeat accelerated, and not be able to focus for the first few moments you're there anyway. So which would be better? To drive in your car and accept that I set off in good time, I'll get there when I'll get there. So you can actually mindfully be. Mindfulness is a powerful tool and it's, it has its sort of essence, its, its fundamentals in meditation, but in a very simple form. And it's simple yet complex, but once we embrace it and once we can accept it, it can actually go a long way towards healing and helping us live better lives.